when I went to school, you know, the teachers set up the models for us and we would, Nancy Guzik and I and the different artists for us, friends, so we, you know, we had life drawing in the morning and that oil painting in the afternoon and then we go to the palette and chisel after school. Um, and uh, it was just about trying to learn how to draw a nose to look like a nose or face to get their proportions. I mean, you, you really weren't expressing yourself that much. We were just mm -hmm. learning our vocabulary, what we were going to use to speak later. But there are some artists who never go beyond that. They just mm -hmm. get caught into the, and it is, it's a wonderful thing to just draw something beautifully or paint something beautifully. Um, but if you're not taking your own, getting your own models, lighting them, finding your own subjects. Um, uh, you know, we get lots of people ask us if they see some of the photographs. We, we On the Patreon too, we'll do photo sessions with models and to show people how to use cameras, how to use lighting, all the sorts of stuff that you need. We didn't learn in school. I didn't even have a camera until I finished school. Um, but those are things you have to learn. You have to get good at those 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 aspects as well. But people will write and say, oh, can I buy photos from you? Because these are so beautiful. And I always feel like that's not, you're not thinking right, you know, because you can get all kinds of great photos from the internet and stuff. But, and this is my viewpoint, because some people will take photos that, from magazines or whatever, and then they'll transform them into completely their own thing. So that's totally different. But for me personally, once I fin got to that level where I was starting to get my basics down, that was where I was like, I'm so excited to go out and get my own subject matters. And some of the first things that I was most excited about painting was when I would go on these volunteer trips to um, built a orphanage in Mexico and volunteered at a refugee camp for El Salvador and Guatemalan refugees in Texas. And then on in South Dakota, uh, living with a family uh, on the Navajo, on the uh, Lakota reservation, those sorts of things. And then as soon as I started to travel, that was, it was like art was an excuse to go to these places and discover things and then to put them into my paintings to share them with other people. My viewpoint, but what I've learned from those people. And I feel like if it doesn't even have to be traveling far, I mean, just people that we meet around here, down the street from us, um, you know, uh, painting all these people or in your yard, animals that you, you see or your own animals or your own family, those I think are the more important subject matters to paint. Not just that, oh, this is a beautiful photograph, uh, that somebody else took. That personal experience, I think, is what art is about. I think it's what writing is about. Uh, when I first started writing in school, you know, so many, uh, the really good writers there were writing things that were their own experiences. And I had one of my short stories published when I was, when I was taking writing classes at Columbia College in, in an anthology book. And because it was a personal experience of myself. Um, and so those are what's gonna be valued more than your technique or anything. You you need to get your technique, uh, just like you need to get your writing skills up to tell your story, but making it personal, something that matters to you, um, I think is the number one thing that all artists need to think about. And I find it sad sometimes when I'll, I'll go out with young artists and they'll be like, look at that, isn't that cool? You know, some old car, whatever it is. It might not be something interesting to me, but it is to them. And I'll say, well, you should paint that. And they're like, oh, but that's not really a subject that the galleries are looking for. And it's like, you can't talk yourself out of that because if it's something you're passionate about, it will strike a chord in people. And that's something I think that is hard to teach. I, we tend to just on Patreon mostly talk about, we'll talk about the inspirations that we have for things. But it's hard because everybody will have their own inspiration. And technical things are easier to teach because they are, we can all agree on, you know, yeah. what the values are and stuff. But 